Now, I have a lot of fun with you guys on the channel, and we do some stunts and silly stuff, and not really clickbait, but when it comes to something serious about Corvette ownership and your driving experience, I would never steer you wrong, and this is something that I want you to do. Welcome everybody to my Coffee with Conti show. Man, does it feel good to be back in my Corvette. And it's great to have you on the show today. I've got so much I want to share with you from my experience at Spring Mountain, the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. A short one for you today and two more action-packed episodes so you get an understanding of why I'm so excited about attending that school, but why I want you as a Corvette owner to attend that school. This session, I learned so much and I had so much fun. Maybe it's because my son was with me, but I really did walk away feeling educated, more enthused than I ever have been about driving the C8 Corvette. I learned a lot to the point where I feel very confident now. And I realized a lot was me and not the car. And here's what I mean. Back in 2019, in case you weren't with us on the channel, Chuck, our Corvette technician, and myself went to our required dealer training at Ron Fellows. It was raining, it was cold, it was a compact session. We didn't have the detailed training that I just had recently that I'm gonna share with you here, as I mentioned in upcoming videos in a little bit today that I think you're gonna have a blast with. And at that session in December of 19, because of the mid-engine new concept and model and makeup, I didn't feel very comfortable on the track. I was all over the place, understeer, oversteer. I just, I wasn't doing well with the car. And as you may know, I'm a little bit of a competitive guy and I want to do well on the track. And I wanted to take away a good education. So in conversations I have with you about buying this car and driving the car, we could have an educated conversation and I could help you in a lot of the decisions that you need to make and corrections that you need to make as a driver. This recent session, I got so much out of it that I do feel more confident, comfortable, and I feel safer. And I learned a lot was, like I said, was me, was the two, I think the two key things that I took away from that class, and maybe some of you have already felt that, that have C8 Corvette, is the steering input. And it was bizarre because we'd be on track and either I'd be right behind the trainer or he was two cars ahead of me. Mind you, he's ahead of me. We're doing 100 miles an hour and he's on the walkie-talkie. Uh, Rick, you got to turn that in a little bit faster back there. I'm like, how, how the heck can you tell that at those speeds and you're ahead of me looking in the mirror? He could tell, and he was right. <laughs> I wasn't turning correctly. I needed to turn more, and I was afraid to turn more. I, I needed to ride the brake just a little bit more. And it wasn't so much hitting the brake and then just letting off the brake. It was the progression, putting on the brake, and then letting off the brake as you come through those turns. It was really something. Again, an education that is hard for me to describe, but I'm gonna share, <laughs> I'm gonna share as much as I can with you guys. But I do feel more informed and more comfortable. And let me be very clear here. If you're a new Corvette owner, I encourage all of you to do this class for a number of reasons. It's a blast and you do learn a lot. And it's not all about performance driving. Let's face it, less than 5% of us watching right now are gonna do actual performance driving. But it's nice to know a little something about your car so you appreciate it, you understand it, and you respect it. But the performance driving stuff is really incredible. But you learn stuff in this class at the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School that you'll use in everyday driving. So you become a better driver, not necessarily just in your Corvette. So if you're a new Corvette owner and you're unfamiliar with this, 
In your owner's manual is this pamphlet. Inside the pamphlet, they talk about Spring Mountain. There's a number down here. That's the number I want you to call. It's also up on the screen now. Ask for Donna. Right? Yay! It's Donna. I told you guys, if you're gonna call here and you're gonna register for the class, you need to talk to Donna, that's Donna. She's awesome, everybody's awesome here at Spring Mountain, but make sure you guys come here any chance you can, even if it's only once. This will be a life experience, that I promise you. Good morning, sweetie, how you doing? I'm great. I watch this guy. Hey, I watch you, yeah, I watch you every week. It's amazing to actually do it at the same yeah. time. Thanks, man, appreciate hey, that. Thanks great show. Me. And tell Donna that Rick told you to call, and here's why. Number one, I want them to know that I support this program. She's also the dealer liaison to Chevrolet, so they know that we're supporting this program because I want this program to continue. If you've attended, then you know why I want it to continue. Now, I have a lot of fun with you guys on the channel, and we do some stunts and silly stuff, and not really clickbait, but when it comes to something serious about Corvette ownership and your driving experience, I would never steer you wrong, and this is something that I want you to do. And many of you haven't done it because, well, you have no intention to go on the track. Well, I'm not a performance driver. Forget all that. Take your ownership experience to another level. Learn more about your car. Now, again, for those of you, I know many of you would like to be in this conversation, but for those of you that have your C8s right now, you know when you're driving around, and I was just doing some twisties right now, but when you're driving around and turning, you know how that car feels? You know how you feel in the car? It's exactly what Taj talked about when the C8 Corvette was revealed. From the driver's perspective, having less weight on the front wheels means you need less boost in the steering, which means more tactile feedback, so more direct steering. You're not sitting out in the periphery and the car rotates about a point distant from you. The car is rotating about you, and that's a very different uh, driving experience. And when I was on track, I felt a lot of that to the point that it made me nervous because it was so different with the car turning around you. I'd come back into the pits after a session and I would talk to the guys and I would try to have a better understanding of what I was doing wrong, what I could do better. And they told me, yeah, Rick, when you're in that turn and you feel that, no, 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 the car's not going this way. The car's turning around you. Trust the car, it's planted. Hit the gas and go. And I did, and they were right. Oh my gosh, did it feel great. Now down to the description where I talk about what this video is and some other links, I'll put a link to the Spring Mountain Motorsports website. Remember, if you're a new Corvette owner, you have a year after your purchase to schedule your course. Do that in advance. Within 48 hours of taking delivery, look at the calendar and schedule your course. You drive their cars you stay in the condos on track and you get so excited in the ambiance you're surrounded in the mountains you're driving c8 corvettes in a controlled environment you're having a blast you're learning a lot it's an experience unlike any other so please take the time to do that call donna tell her rick told you to go the staff there in the facilities are top notch and i do have to commend the staff doesn't matter what I've been to training schools for Corvette and then you would see well this guy he kind of shines above talent wise than this guy I want to ride with that guy I'm telling you what all these guys top-notch it doesn't matter who you get you're gonna be properly informed you're gonna feel so confident and so comfortable they do such a good job of really helping you with your driving style they put us in groups so you're not feeling like you're being pressured by somebody behind you. Again, the whole session, the way they have everything organized is incredible. And let me tell you this too. I just saw one of my customers in service recently. He too just attended the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. And the thing that amazed him, besides everything else that I'm talking about now and a lot more to come, was how much track time you actually had out there. He thought it was gonna be a lot of schooling, watch videos, and talk and he talk and he talk. No, you had a little, it, the conversations you do have in class, you're just so engaged, you're enthralled in that conversation because you're learning so much about yourself and about Corvette, but you have a lot of track time. Okay, so let's get on with a clip that I want to share with you guys. And thank you again for joining us.
for my Coffee with Conti show. No matter what time of the day you caught us, you're watching right now, it is wonderful to share this with you. The clip I have for you today is what I call the hot lap or what they call the demo lap, where we drove a couple of sessions. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong, which was a lot. And then we're riding, I'm gonna share with you what I'm riding with the trainer. And you saw a little bit of the teasers in some of the previous videos. So no laughing, don't even make the comment, Rick, what's wrong with you? You look like you're gonna get sick or you look like that you're mad. I, and I looked at it, you're right, I look, I look like an idiot because <laughs> I was trying so hard to focus and concentrate on what he was doing and what I wasn't doing. And so when I got in the car, yeah, I knew the camera was on, but I didn't realize it looked that stupid. So look past all that. I really am concentrating on how he's handling turns and how he's handling the brake. And then when I would get in the car, after I saw him do it, I'm like, man, I, I can't do that. But I know, I know now that I left a little bit on the table and I would give anything just to have one more, just guys, and you hear this all the time, just let me go back out one more time. I know I can increase my time. I know I can do better. I can take that turn better. I won't turn too soon. I won't turn too late. I just wanted one more time. I really did, man. Uh, but walking away, like I said earlier, I did learn so much, and I know you will too. So today's Coffee with Conti is the hot demo lap with the trainer. A lot of the overall experience and some of the breakout sessions, those are still to come in future videos. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I would love for you to come back and join us for that. So no funny remarks, but watch it. Just watch how comfortable he is, how talented these guys are in this new C8 Corvette. They love this car. With that engine so low, so planted, this car is such a blast to drive. It really is, you guys. And I got one more thought for you after you watch this hot lap. It's amazing how much I learn and I understand from you guys, but it's hard to apply it on track. Yeah, I get that. That, this is what I've been looking forward to, is right with you guys. It's not so much for the thrill, it's really to learn what I'm doing wrong and how you guys do it right. This is, uh, this is great to capture this. You guys always do a great job. My fourth time here, I'm really impressed and encouraged all my customers. Uh, well, thank you, thank you. Well, like I do, light brakes everywhere we go. I'm still in the light brakes, right? First lap out, squeeze the left side. Third brakes in a straight line. Notice how long. Brakes, brakes, coast, weight, roll to full throttle. Not up to coast, I shouldn't say, more like a maintenance throttle. All the way up to fourth gear. All the way up to fifth gear, and I'm looking all the way down to my turning cone and my braking reference or any firm brakes, smooth application, back to fourth gear. Light brakes, light brakes, light brakes. Maintenance throttle, roll back to full throttle, smooth. Notice how hand, slow my hands are moving. Light lift, roll back to full throttle.
number one brake tool. Light, 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 light. Firm in a straight line, light brakes as we turn. Clip the apex, unwind, accelerate. I'm already scaling way ahead, looking for my braking references, and there's my turning cone. Looking right. left for my apex, now I'm looking for my turning cone already. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. That is a hot lap. What'd you guys think, man? It was awesome. Yeah. Yes, it was Incredible. awesome. That's how you really learn. I mean, the classroom stuff is great, but being in there, seeing them doing exactly what we were just driving, you know. Yeah, like, well, you think you- You said you want to be like that. I know it'll never happen. Out. <laughs> yeah, but no. then they drive and you're like, I know nothing. No, <laughs> these, these guys are really talented. And how relaxed they are. Yeah. Because I, when I'm trying to do half the speed that they're doing i'm all tensed up and maybe i got to relax a little bit more yeah. but they are really smooth and that's what i'm trying to to get in this new car is the smooth transitions and these turns and some of them are really tough i can't believe people buy these things and go out and try to do this without taking these courses because yeah, that's a mistake oh man that's those mistake. cars are now good point they're wicked yeah, that's a good point good time man that's got to be one of our best uploads on the channel. Uh, thank you, Spring Mountain. Thank you, Ron Fellows Performance Driving School for uh, giving us an experience that really, truly is a life moment. Donnie, how are you? Doing good. Did you get sick? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, they're freaking crazy, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out the uh, depth perception issue. I, I have a problem with that. So. Oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Right? Yeah. It's a learning school, right? So we're like, how do we help people stay on the track? All right, here's Jim from San Antonio. The okay, dude. The analogy's the best. <laughs> I'm freaking. <laughs> he can't even talk, see? That's how good it was. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what, 45 cent minute later? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you, dude? That's how you drive the cars. <laughs> yeah. You know, thinking back at that trip, I think, besides I got so much out of the education and the training, sharing that with my son was better than anything. And I had a lot of my customers there, a lot of the people that watch the channel. You'll see some of that in future uploads. But I really... I'm, I'm going way out. You guys are going to think I'm nutty. I've always told you I'm not a track guy. I'm not a race guy. But I think I want to do something. And I've already looked into it. About buying a set of wheels and Z51 tires to do not full-blown track stuff, but maybe some autocross stuff. You know, the stuff with the cones in the parking lot and stuff like that. And let Ryan do that because he was an absolute natural. He didn't feel well. The heat and the dehydration got to him on the second day. I'm so disappointed because I, you know, just as a proud dad, you love watching your kid do something, especially when they do it well. Oh my gosh, he is a natural on the track. So we've got to get him behind the wheel and out there just a little bit more. It gives me more confidence allowing him to drive this car by himself. You know, half the miles I have on my car right now are from Ryan. And as we're doing this video, I'm about to, uh, I'm just a few miles away from crossing over 7,000 miles. And there's something service-wise 
that you have to do to your Corvette. It's 7,500 miles. I don't think anybody's talked about it yet on the channel, so we'll save that for a future Tech Tuesday. But for now, yeah, I'm thinking about stepping up my game and my Corvette ownership. Even though that part of the season here in Ohio is just about over, I know Corvette Cleveland, they do, they do a lot of race stuff. And sometimes the Porsche Club has some open track days down in mid-Ohio. So uh, you just might see Ricky out there and Ryan. Absolutely. That's, that's how much I got from that racing class. And again, you're going to take that class. Please do. But you're not going to become a race car driver. You're just going to become a better driver in your Corvette. And it's, it's just like the technology in this car. It's no fun unless you know how to use it. Let me just go off the side here for a moment. With that, with that in mind, I plan on doing a video within the coming month, kind of getting you started, how to use your Corvette, kind of a delivery, because there's so much, much of which we will never use, but going over the hot button stuff to help you guys taking it to the layman's terms of understanding realistic do's and don'ts on certain features and how you can customize it to your wants and needs and your driving style. That's still to come. I feel so much more confident now in this car. But don't worry, I'm not going to drive like an idiot on the roads. That's the great thing about going to those tracks and many tracks across the country. You're doing it in a controlled environment and that's where I encourage you to do that. A lot of fun stuff coming up on this channel. Great experiences, wonderful stories from customers, some stuff I want to teach you and share with you guys. Your support means a lot, so please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell. Come back and see us. Hit the little thumbs up thingy, that that like, like that, that's the like thing. I do appreciate that. And make those comments down below. Nothing about my face though when I was in the car. Look so stupid. But I want, I want to hear from you that, yeah, Rick, already, and we haven't shared, I mean, the bulk of my trip, I haven't even shared yet. Once I do, 100%, all of you are going to say, okay, I'm in. What, what's that? What's that number to call? Okay, I'm going. Stop dreaming, start driving, baby! Thanks for watching Coffee with Conti. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, I saw. You got me on the first run. Yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. One, two, three, four! Well, I've been holding in since the clock in my morning. From the end of the week, I'm a bum 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 b